everyone, it's Doreen with Ula La Vintage Treasures and I have a project to share with you today. This is our angel challenge that we are having in our group. October 31st was the deadline. I'm very close to the deadline you guys. I've been very busy and I just wanted to come in and show you what I worked on. So here is a little pocket folder that I purchased from Target. This is how I'm keeping my digital designs, papers, and ephemera inside for each designer. I know this is probably a crazy system, but for right now this works for me. I purchased around 10 or 15 of these at Target, and I love them because they're so clean and crisp, and you can add a little title up here if you want. And I made a little banner for this and I'm probably going to tape something in the front um, with the name on it so that I don't have to search through each book. But so I created this little type of banner here and I will probably put this on the outside so I know this is the designer. This is Jolene, a jewel design. And her mother is Lorette Chandler. And Lorette is a friend of mine here in my group and we message each other all the time encouraging each other she reached out to me and told me about this beautiful image here with the roses she knows I love roses and so there's another collection that I purchased as well but for today I'm going to show you this one which is the shabby Christmas at home collection and let's go ahead and I'll show you I'm keeping it in this pocket folder here I love this because it has the little tabs right here and it has this right here. It can hold a lot of paper, as you can see. It's got this big um, opening. And I already have about 40 sheets of paper in here.
Okay, so now we're going to put this little pocket together. What we're going to do is, you can do it one of two ways. You can cut these two pockets out or these two pockets out. I think this time I'm going to cut this one and this one out. Okay, so we're going to use that and put this aside for another project later. Okay, so now you have this piece here and you have this piece here. And all we're going to do is take it and fold it at the line as best as you can. Try to make it as straight as you can here. Use my bone folder. Okay. So then you have this and you have this and you can ink it up later and then what I'm going to do is before I glue it all together we're going to add our crunchy baked tracing paper I love anything that makes that sound you guys <laughs> so I um kind of create my designs around uh, baking paper, tracing paper, anything that has texture. I got this from Dollar Tree. It has a, a big spout on it though. So what you're going to do now is you put your glue and then you just add your paper. I might need to add a little bit of paper. Let me make sure I want it to go wider because I like it. I like it sticking out. So let me take this part off and start over before it dries. And the whole idea is to kind of just make it kind of like, you know, not perfect. Because in crafting, we don't do things perfectly anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to add that, and then we're just going to pick it up and rip it. Rip that. Go right here. And rip that. So now this is what it looks like. I've been having so much fun working on... Christmas projects. It's a lot of fun to do. This is what it looks like when you have the paper sticking out. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to glue it and make our pocket. So we're going to glue it on both sides. Too much glue. You just have to take it off. Okay. And then all you're going to do is close it up like that. And that makes a quick little pocket. These are those good smelling wipes that smell like coconut. So there's what you have when you take all the glue off. <laughs> Oh my goodness, me and the glue. Now it's all over my fingers too. All right, so this is the pocket. And then that's the back. It's got to dry, it got a little bit wet. And then you just embellish it. Okay, and then let me show you how I did the hinge. That's the hinge I'm using and that's the embossing folder. Christmas Holly Damask. Anna Griffin. This is a really pretty one. It's got lots of texture in it. So I already, you know, pre embossed it for you guys. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to take it and fold it in half. like that and I like when I make the hinges I like them to have texture too so I usually 
do my hinges um, with some type of embossing folder or something. And then this one here, you're going to, if depending on which way you're going to have it in your book, if you were going to have it go this way, of course you go that way with the hinge, or this way, you go that way. Okay, so since I have the baking paper, I just need to cut this down a little bit. Or let me cut this with the scissors because it's not going to show on that side. So it won't matter. And you're just going to take your hinge. And don't be lazy like me and use this glue because <laughs> it's coming out everywhere. If I would have taken the time to fill my glue bottle, I wouldn't have this problem, like I said. And then we're going to go on this side with it. And we're just going to go like that. Oops, you know what I forgot, you guys? Forgot you have to have something to glue it to, right? Let me move that around a little bit. Let me get something to glue it to. I got this really pretty um, embossed envelope. It looks like a policy envelope on the back. So we can just glue it on there. I was trying to make the hinge go over this This thing here. You want to line it up, of course. You want to leave a little bit of a gap there. So you can move it back and forth. I probably need more glue now. Sticking, not sticking anymore. Okay, this is real life crafting. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's like two thirty in the morning, and I'm crafting over here. So that is kind of like what it looks like. I will adjust it a little bit to make sure it's sticking right. Trying to make it on here tight so it stays. And then of course you want to add all your little goodies to it like, you know, the image lace and different things. As you see, I covered up a lot of this to put my angel on there. That is one way that you can do it. And the other way is, of course, add it to anything. A booklet, piece of paper, piece of cardstock, and make your friends a little booklet too.